and movies. Her newest film is called Stella, which opens tomorrow. And despite all of her achievements, though, Bette Midler says being a mom is the toughest challenge of all. And Chantal will talk with Bette Midler about the struggles involved in being a mother, both in real life and on screen. Let me see your face. Come on, I gotta know if you're okay. Come mm -hmm. on, let me see your face. Oh, my damn it, don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. Don't you cry. I love you, Jenny girl. Stella, starring Bette Midler, is a remake of the 1937 movie Stella Dallas, starring Barbara Stanwyck, and the 1925 silent movie starring Belle Bennett. Her research, real-life single independent mothers of today. I asked, actually, that they be single mothers, and I got many, many hours of uh, audio and visual tape of these women talking, and I'm telling you, you, that's the film I should have made. I mean, my Stella is, I'm very proud of Stella, but when I heard these stories, when I heard what these women went through, it doesn't really hit you until you meet them face to face and you hear what they've been through, you know, trying, like, trying to get the alimony, trying to get the child support, uh, dealing with uh, absentee uh, fathers who, who they had to throw out because they were junkies or because they drank. Um, <clears throat> the welfare battle, the battle to get enough welfare. And, you, you know, when you have welfare, you can't take a job because you earn a cer pass a certain amount of money, you are penalized. And this kind of thing, I, I, I just... It occurs to me that this is such perfect timing for you to do a mother-daughter kind of movie with Sophie in your life. Yes, yeah. She's what, three now? She's three and she's oh. acting up. She didn't do it at two. Uh, maybe she's blo bloomed late, but boy, that, uh, it's hard being a mom. Boy, they put you through the paces. She tell, says some, something to you and just, you just, you, you, you don't know what to say. I mean, if she says no, if she says, I don't go away, I don't like you, it's like a knife wound. I never oh. expected that. Oh. Now I know, now I know what my mom went through. Fascinating. Fascinating. You've said before that your life is filled with learning lessons all the time. What's your most recent life lesson? Uh, I, think, I think it was that my husband and I were our mates for life. Oh, that's a wonderful lesson. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. Fortune teller told us that. I wasn't, I was, you know, you always, you're never really sure whether you're in the right situation or not until someone just makes it so clear. And then there's nothing, then you just give all that struggle up. And that happened to us, and that was fantastic. We were, we floated for about six months, because it was true. And once you give that struggle up, compromise and, and kindness are so much easier mm. when you know that, that, that that's your mate. And there's no reason to fight against these bindings anymore. Mm. It's great. Emily Dickinson writes in a poem Hold your parents tenderly, for without them the world is a strange and lonely place. Do you identify? Well, yeah. With oh, both sure. of them gone? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Uh, that's the grounding, you know. That's the, those are the people you know the best. In, in, the, in, in if they allow you to know them, the, they are the people you will always know the best. And the people to whom you turn instinctively for protection all your life. So. Oh, there she goes again. The waterworks begin. Ah, I won't do it. I won't do it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I was very attached <clears throat> to them. I miss them tremendously. You know, the other day I was at my office and I looked down and I thought, how did my mother's hands get in my sleeves? <sighs> Isn't that funny? Do you ever do that? Do you ever come around a corner and, and see yourself? I, and listen, think, I hear oh. it. I don't, I don't see it, but I hear it. Because I don't look like my mom. I look like my dad. I hear it in my voice, though. I hear, so often I use the same phrases. I know the intensity that uh, she must have felt when she was trying to teach me something, I, uh, to correct me or to lead me on a good, you know, on a decent path. I know that, I feel that, because when I talk to my own child, I hear it, yeah. I hear her in my voice. And sometimes I'm just appalled because I, I remember disliking it so much, so much of the time, and yet I know why she did it now. Finally, after all this time, I, Oh, I get it. It's amazing what a little, a few years can do to you. Just amazing. Uh, Bet